Yeah, hello. Today I want to show you how to perform a firmware update on the JBL Everest headphones. In this case, I have here the Elite 700. And we start out by making sure that the headphones are connected by Bluetooth to your smartphone. You can use like an iPhone or an Android. Uh, if you need assistance with the connecting the headphones to your smartphone then maybe check out this video here in the upper right corner and but now let's get started so the first thing we need here is the JBL headphones app and uh, you find this in the uh, iTunes store or the Play Store and just uh, search for it by typing in JBL and there's going to be a couple of different apps from JBL that you find there but you want the JBL headphones app here just download that and install it and once you've done that then we're going to start this and the headphones are going to be recognized here by the app immediately and then here look in the upper left corner there's this gear icon with the little orange dot so that's how you click on and then we check out here the current version this is a 0. 5.6 and if you check for software updates and it says here 0.7.0 is available you just click on the install button and it will immediately start the update without you having to do anything else actually you shouldn't do anything like you shouldn't touch the headphones at this point or leave this app just leave the phone and the headphones alone so uh, this update process is automatically completed here. This takes a while, it takes about three minutes. So uh, I'm going to fast forward this here a bit. So once the firmware update here is at 100%, it's completed, then it's going to restart the headphones. It's going to say that here in a second. See here, we're restarting the heads of headphones and it's going to reconnect automatically to your smartphone. And as soon as this is done, we can check here the software version by going back here to the gear icon in the upper left corner. And so when we do this, you can check here software version now 0.7.0 and there's no more updates available. So we are at the latest firmware version. Okay, so this is it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, then leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe.